How's it going, Airsofters? Dub here with Airspot. Today we're going to look at the ICS Galil iCard 96. This is pretty much your standard Galil based 96 with a couple different things. So some of the great things about this gun is it does come with the IRS standard. Instead of the, uh, you see some of the other ones that have the wood foregrip here, which add a little bit more weight to it, and you can't really put any optics or anything like that. This makes it great, so if you want it out of the box, easily customizable, if you want to put packs, lights, foregrips, bipods, anything you want to throw on there. Um, what's also great about this is it does come with removable cheek rest. So if you do not like the cheek rest, it's just a simple couple, two screws, pops right off, you're good to go. It does come with, of course, the collapsible stock. If you have to take into the close quarters and you're not quite set up for it, pops right off, real easy to go. What's really cool about this gun is that what ICS did with this is that instead of your, with your like, standard AK-47 models um, where you have to actually take your hand off your fire position just to select over from auto, safe, and semi. This was great. What they did is they added this lever here on the grip to where you can easily just click it over without having to change your firing position. I think that's an awesome way to do it. I hope more AK variants take that role to it. Um, it just it increases your efficiency on the field far times more. So instead of having to stop, take your hand off the firing position, and then do the selector, you can do it straight from your thumb. So it almost makes it where it's an ambidextrous selector. Really cool, awesome feature. Um, it does have the full metal body, full metal IRS. Um, it does accept most standard AK mags. It does come with two uh, 600 round high capacity mags. Um, what's also great about what they did with this gun is the attention to detail they put into it. If you look on closely on the gun, everything down to the serial numbers, down to the company name, down to the safety selections, is all inscribed in Hebrew. The reason being that this was originally built for the Israeli Defense Force, so this is one of the, this is one of their main weapons. The reason they loved it so much is because it was something that they could take into battle to go from a rifle to where almost you can use it as a suppressor for an LMG. Um, I, I believe they still use it to this day. You do see some of the guys with the shortened barrels up. They do make, and they have the longer ones. This one is the one piece standard longer barrel. So if you want to shorten it, you're going to have to do some self modification. Now, if you don't r usually run an AK style platform, you are going to have to do some modifications to your setup, such as like, you know, AK pouches, or you can always go with the good old tacos. They fit right in there, they'll fit anything. So, um, other than that, great gun, feels great. Everything seems to work really smooth. Hop up's easy to get to. Standard, it's like I said, it's pretty much your standard AK variant. But with the Glial style, you get that LMG slash AR effect to it, which is really cool in the field. And it's something different. You don't see a lot of these on the field. I know a few guys who run them, but other than that, they're really rare. Once again, it goes for $358.99 at airsplat.com. Make sure you guys check us out on Facebook and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Airsplat. Once again, this is Dove. Play safe, play hard, have fun. See you guys out there on the field.